Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the six month update of the Innovator Marine 30 gallon. Let's do this. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Just wanted to say I hope you and your families are safe in these unprecedented times. Lots of crazy things going on in this world, but hope you and your tanks are thriving. Today's episode is gonna be a bit of a longer one. I'm planning every so often to make a longer video where I give my input on my choices and how they have fared in either success or failures on my tank. I'm very happy so far with my choice of choosing the Innovator Marine 30 gallon long. I love that the tank is 36 inches wide. I used uh, Carib Sieve Life Rock to begin with, which I'm happy with since it looked, it gave the aesthetic that the tank was cycled or mature from the beginning, although it was not. Uh, to cycle the tank, I used Dr. Tim's nitrifying bacteria with ammonia in a bottle. I'm overall happy, happy with the choice. However, the cycle did take longer than expected. It took approximately three to four weeks. I know some people have successfully cycled their tank using this product in as low as seven days. The instructions state to put four drops of ammonia per gallon, which I ended up adding less than that but it still ended up being far too much my cycle stalled with high nitrate for about a week and a half so i ended up adding another bottle of nitrifying bacteria which i then started seeing nitrate shortly after if you use this product i recommend probably using half the recommended dose of ammonia but that's just my experience after the tank was cycled i went ahead and added cosmo and poly from my existing tank I left them in the tank by themselves with no light for about three and a half months before I installed the lights on the new tank. Shortly after the lights were installed, I ended up doing my tank transfer where I began tearing down my old 14 gallon tank, dipped all my corals, etc., and transferred them to the new tank. Now there's been some ups and downs even though it's only been six months with the tank. The first one and most notably being almost a tank crash. I was using the Hanna Salinity Checker and somehow it began reading inaccurately even though I had calibrated at the first of each month. The checker had said my salinity was very low in my tank, so I acted quickly and started using salt water to top it off in hopes to bring the salinity up. Fortunately this didn't seem to be working, so I brought out my refractometer, calibrated it, and checked the salinity of my tank for redundancy. I soon found out my tank was at a salinity of 1.033, which is far too high, with a goal being at 1.026. I tried recalibrating my HANA salinity checker, even though I had calibrated it about two weeks before, and all of a sudden I kept getting an error. I tried this with multiple reagents to calibrate the HANA salinity checker, and I kept getting an error message. I finally contacted HANA, tried troubleshooting it with them over the phone, and unfortunately, there was no solution. They ended up sending me a new salinity checker and told me to toss out the old one. Unfortunately, I did lose a few corals during this um, time due to the hike in salinity. I did lose a two hammers and an octospawn, which, you know, it's always sad when you lose um, some corals. You don't like, one, losing the money, and two, they looked great in the tank. So that was uh, unpleasant. Another negative that I've had with a tank so far was nuisance algae and two things really resolved that. One was the um, purchasing a cleanup crew. So I got a bunch of cleanup crew and they went to town. Astrea snails are doing an awesome job cleaning up uh, hair algae and um, algae on the rocks and things like that. Uh, the other was the bile pellet reactor, but that has also been a negative with that. And that is the Innovative Marine pumps that come with that biopellet reactor seem to be leaching stray voltage into systems. And the reason I know it's just not, you know, uh, one time occurrence is when you go on reviews of the product, you see this listed all over websites, whether it be Marine Depot, BRS, Amazon, whatever. Um, so if you are planning on purchasing one of these, uh, media reactors from Innovative Marine. I do recommend purchasing a separate pump. I purchased the CSE 
pump and that seems to be working perfect. It actually uh, gives you the ability to change the speeds, which is perfect because I'm using it for bio pellets. Um, ever since using the bio pellet reactor, I do see that my skim mate is becoming a lot more dark and pulling a lot more from the water column. My nitrates have gone from about 50 ppm to about 25. So some new additions with the tank is I recently purchased a SPS beginner pack from Fish of Hex um, and also got an Indo Gold hammer and torch from Drop Off Corals. Highly recommend checking either of those uh, coral vendors out. A lot of you probably know Fish of Hex from YouTube, uh, but Drop Off Corals is a coral company that they run um, raffles online on Instagram and check them out because you know I won those raffles at like 25 to 30 dollar buy-ins for each of them and I won you know an Indo Gold torch and uh, and hammer so that's a pretty awesome freaking good deal it's my first time dabbling with SPS so that's a little intimidating but I'm ramping up my testing to ensure that you know we're meeting the needs of the the tank um, Overall, I'm loving the tank and I can't wait for things to grow out. I've stocked it pretty high at this point, so I don't plan on purchasing any new corals uh, in the immediate future, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me on the episode of the six month tank anniversary. I appreciate all of the support and subscriptions that you guys have given me. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe down below. Thanks and see you next time.